This millipede has a toxic secret, and it might be lurking in your backyard. Today, I'm going to get up close and personal with this bizarre animal to see how poisonous they really are. So the only question is, can I catch it? Along the forest floor, one can find a large variety of debris. Fallen leaves and rotting logs serve as cover for a wide variety of creatures that call the forest floor home. And a time-honored strategy that explorers use to get up close and personal with these creatures is flipping these things over to see what they can find. When you're out exploring the forest floor, one group of creatures you might find underneath a log or rock are the myriapods. Characterized by having many legs, the myriapods are divided into two distinct groups, centipedes and millipedes. And while the two groups are very easily confused, there are some distinct differences. Centipedes are fast-moving, flat-bodied, and have a significantly softer shell. This enables them to get into tight spaces where their potential prey items may be lurking. The slower-moving, harder-shelled creatures are the millipedes. As detrivores, they don't need swift speed or durable exoskeletons to chase down their prey. They just need to be hard enough that most predators will leave them alone as they graze the rotting material that lines the forest floor. Today, we're after one of these millipedes, a particularly toxic species known as the yellow-spotted millipede. Once in a while, during a walk in the woods, you might notice a series of yellow spots moving along the ground near decaying trees. And after a closer look, you'll notice these yellow spots are actually on the sides of a rather large millipede. You might ask yourself, why would such a large, slow-moving animal want to advertise its presence to various woodland predators? It turns out, the yellow spots, for which this millipede gets its name, are actually a form of aposomatic coloration. This is because, when threatened, the yellow-spotted millipede has a very sinister defense mechanism. This millipede's nickname is the almond-scented millipede, and that almond scent is the ever-so-popular smell of an infamous toxin known as hydrogen cyanide. That's right, this millipede is employing chemical warfare to defend itself against predators. In lethal doses, cyanide prevents the victim's cells from producing ATP, or chemical energy. And since muscles need this chemical energy to contract, muscles like the heart or diaphragm of an unwitting predator will stop functioning shortly after ingesting this animal, leading to death. Now, if cyanide is so dangerous, you might be wondering, why would the millipede produce such a toxin? Wouldn't that pose a threat to its own health? Yellow-spotted millipedes are actually immune to cyanide. They're able to metabolize the poison and turn it into harmless chemicals, which it then releases back into the environment. Now, you may be wondering, if you see one of these animals in your backyard, are you in any danger? Well, that is exactly why I'm trying to find this creature today. I want to freehandle one of these toxic millipedes to find out if they're a threat to humans. So these millipedes live underneath stuff. They like to hide underneath logs and rocks where it's cool. Gracie, you can help me look for the millipede? Gracie's gonna help me look for the millipede today, right? You can't eat the millipede. That'll make you sick. That'll make you sick, kitty. That'll make you sick, yeah. What's up? All right, so I'm out here on the trail. This is my cat, Gracie. She wants to help me look for the millipede. I've already told her she can't eat it because that'll make her sick. Yeah, you're walking underneath me and all around. Yeah, I see you, you're my pal. You can help me look, yeah? How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah? I'm out here on the trail which is lined with old logs from the woods. Now these logs hold in moisture and keep the ground underneath them nice and cool where these millipedes are gonna like to hang out. With any luck, I'm going to flip over the right log and I'll be able to find a nice yellow spotted millipede living underneath. Alright, this is our first log. Let's see if there's anything underneath. A lot of ants. Alright, let's see what we got. Ugh. 
listening ants. All right, so this is a really nice log. It's uh, in the shade. I'm touching it. It's nice and moist and rotting. So could be some cool stuff underneath this. Let's pull it over and have a look. Oh, big ants. A lot of big ants. The carpenter ants are really active today. I don't think I've ever had a flipping session where I've found this many logs with ants underneath them. However, we got a couple more logs over this way. I'm hoping might give us our target millipede. After flipping a few more ants, it all boiled down to one last log. This is my last shot at finding the yellow spotted millipede. Right. Oh, there's one. A little spider too. There's one of our millipedes. And a slug. Right there. Oh, he pooped on me. That's gross. Oh. Now this, this is a yellow spotted millipede. This is not the biggest one I've seen, but, yep, it smells just like almonds. That's because he produces hydrogen cyanide. Now you're probably thinking, Spencer, are you gonna be okay handling this millipede? Should you be touching this millipede with your bare hands if it produces hydrogen cyanide? Because that's super, super toxic. Now the truth is, these guys don't produce enough hydrogen cyanide for, for uh, to hurt a human, especially one of my size. If I was a fox or a bird or some kind of small assassin bug, then the amount of cyanide that this guy produces might be an issue for me. Now I'm still gonna make sure that I don't, I don't touch my face or eat anything before I wash my hands, especially because he pooped on me. But I should be fine after this interaction. These guys are totally harmless to people. Can be a little bit of a garden pest because they do eat plants and decaying matter. But overall, pretty cool little, pretty cool little myriapod. Now they can cause some skin irritation, so I'm gonna go ahead and release them back underneath this log. The millipedes will find their way back underneath and go back to doing whatever it was they were doing. If you like Can I Catch It, check out the playlist on your screen. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.